Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, February the 9th, and God's blessed us with another day of life. I'm very thankful for. I'm thankful to be saved by his grace. Glad to be a child of God. And because we are a child of God, we have hope. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 5 that we have hope that's shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost that is given unto us. I'm thankful for, for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Been reading a good book about the Trinity, uh, you know, explaining all about how uh, the Spirit of God is personal. The Spirit of God is, you know, a lot of people think that the Holy Ghost is just a force or an action. Uh, but my friends today, he's not just a force or an action. The Holy Ghost is a person. Uh, he has personal attributes. He speaks in the word of God. He refers to himself with personal pronouns. He has a will. Uh, we're just thankful for the person of the Holy Ghost who is distinct from the person and the, of the Father and of the Son. Uh, we're just thankful for the triune God of the Christian Bible today. We hope that you all have a blessed day. Uh, in the Lord today. Here in just a moment, we will read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Uh, so we do welcome you to follow along with us uh, in the Bible. If you have a Bible handy, if not, you're welcome to just read. Uh, but before we do that, we want to go over the prayer list this morning. We've got some requests that we want to make known, and then we're going to pray uh, over this list. And if anyone out there has any prayer requests, feel free to drop those in the comment box or send me a private message and we'll get your request added to the prayer list. We want to remember Dennis Klein today, Janice Lane and her sons, Wanda Belcher, pray for Olena Harrison and David Isley. Let's remember Marilyn today, Kathy and Bobby Peake. We've got Geraldine Bowens, uh, the residents at Courtyards Senior Living. Let's pray for our nation. Uh, Jay Bradley and his wife, Ann, Randy McMillions and his wife, Sandy. Let's remember Donnie Watson and the Weldon family this morning, the family of Ralph Bremmett, the family of Ezra Flannery. Let's remember Walter Boyd. Let's pray for um, Brenda Peak and her family this morning, Jason Hammonds, Mark Harrison, Pastor Amal Paragi over in India doing a great work there. There's financial needs. Uh, in central India to purchase much needed land for ministry. Uh, so pray about that. And also Pastor Amal has a pastor friend whose 17 year old son uh, has suffered a serious accident and needs the hand of God to touch him. So let's remember him when we pray. We're praying for Terry Mangrum. Margaret Fleener sent us a special request, uh, request. So let's remember that situation today. Also Gary Vaughn is on the prayer list. Linda Taylor's family. Let's pray for Peggy Redman, who has cancer, Melissa Daniels, Robert Etherton, Jennifer Smith and her family. Still praying for Brenda Rainwater and uh, dear lady at our church, Kim Gillenwater needs our prayer. So do lift her up in prayer. Also Mitzi, Kenny and Brandon. Um, let's remember them. Lisa Crowder and her family particularly her Aunt Diana needs a touch from the Lord today. Tammy Lawson's niece and Larry Hughes. Let's remember Larry Hughes. And I see that request from Megan. Let's remember her today. We appreciate Roger Castle watching and uh, uh, Brother Foskey, we appreciate you watching. Jay Bradley, we appreciate you. And uh, of course, my mother's watching. We thank God for that. Rose, good morning, Rose. And good morning, Sean. Good to see you all watching today. We're going to pray, and then we're going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Let's go to the Lord at this time. Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for another day. We thank you, God, that uh, with you, we can do all things, Lord. Uh, but uh, without you, we can do nothing. God, I pray for these needs this morning. Lord, we know where our help comes from. We know who's in control, and we're thankful that you've given us the faith to believe that you are the healer, you are the deliverer. We pray, God, for peace in these lives. We pray, God, that you'll give grace where it's needed. And, Lord, we pray for wisdom for each individual on this prayer list and who's watching today. Lord, that you'll give us the wisdom that's needed with each decision we make in life, with each step that we take in life, that we'll keep Christ first. Uh, we'll keep Christ in the center of every decision that we make, that we might glorify the Lord and not ourselves. 
Help us, dear God, day by day to stand firm in the face of an adverse society. Help us, God, to be able to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And help us, God, to stand firm even in the face of persecution, Lord, knowing that all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But help us to always be reminded that if this world hates us, that they hated the Lord Jesus Christ first, and the servant is not greater than his master. I pray, dear God, that you'll bless throughout the remainder of this day and you be glorified in our lives. Help us to be the lights and the witnesses that we need to be for your sake. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you. We appreciate that, Rose. We hope you have a wonderful day. All right, I'm going to pick up the Bible now and start reading in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 commonly and affectionately referred to many times as the love chapter. This is where we've made our way to this morning. Notice with me the Apostle Paul writing here says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. All right. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 13 in the word of God. We hope uh, that was a blessing and a help to you. And tomorrow we'll pick right up with 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all uh, who will share this video to help us spread the word uh, of the word of God. We appreciate that so much. So God bless you all. Have a great day. And we'll catch you again tomorrow.